Well, good morning again, everybody. Uh, this is my last day over in Ironwood. Uh, I'm going up to the peninsula right now, around Copper Harbor. And, uh, well, I look for some kind of motels and stuff up there. It's a little scarce. But, man, uh, eh, we'll work it out. If not, I could probably camp somewhere. I got all my gear. Been thinking about picking up a little cheap tent, but uh, hey, I do well with uh, with the cot and the mattress and everything in the back of the vehicle for one night. It'll save me a little money. So we might do that. Hard to say. But going to go and grab some breakfast. And on the move. See you later. Well, as we move on, here we are at the Breakwater restaurant. It's an old big boys that they converted, but good breakfast. So we're gonna scoot on in. Well, hi again, everybody. I think I kind of worked this thing out so I don't have to be holding the phone. Rubber bands really help. But uh, I'm on my way now to Copper Harbor and i'll probably show you a little bits of the road on the way if my little fix up for my video work helps so see you down the road toodles can't do that can't have them radios on they complain about that stuff just want to give you a quick glimpse of some of the hillsides here on Highway 45 is really pretty. I think I might have even showed you this one before, but had to do it again. Bye bye. Another pretty corner up here. I just love it the fact that Michigan has some mountains. This is totally amazing to me. <sighs> Did I say I'm having a great time? Had to get off on the side of the road and put on a video because uh, it's kind of amazing. We're coming out of the hills. See how high we are. We're coming down to a small town. I don't even know the name of it here. There it is on the sign, South Range Village Limits. Cute little town. It's a small town. Yes, it is. Cozy Corner. I knew a place like that in Detroit. Wow. Tis a little town. Gas is cheaper by a nickel over here than it is outside the peninsula. But that was it as we blast on through. Catch you up the road. Wow. Had to turn this on fast for this view. This is Houghton City Limits. We are here. Amazing. Look at the hills around here. Man, all alive. Well, sure I can find a lot of things here. This is one big, this is the biggest city of the peninsula, I believe. And they got just about everything. Shepherds. Look at this. Up on the hills and stuff. That's pretty nice. As we come down here. Amazing. Amazing. Again. See you later. Well, here we are in downtown. Houghton. Kind of cute. 
if you just got to watch because you got one-way streets this is one way going west the other one's one way going east to see if there's any restaurants open or anything would be nice to stop hmm I don't know if you ever been to Houghton this is it Well, I think that was it. I'm going to end up going north to Hancock. Bye-bye. Here we come to Hancock. Just over the river here. That's why they call it Houghton Hancock. <laughs> Kind of looks like a cute town here. We'll find out. Gas prices are up a nickel across the river. How do you like that? And now we're coming into the town, I believe. Well, they sure like their one-way streets here. Oh, we're going to go north 41, I think. Right. This be Hancock. Sure wish I could find a little restaurant. Well you got antique places. Sure there's a restaurant somewhere here that's open. Bakery, that might work. Uh, they say they're open. I could get a blow nut. You know, blow nut just blows you up. And there is a nut Nutton's Dinner Club or Supper Club. Crazy stuff. And believe it or not, I'm following my GPS. Oh, I'm missing the barber shop. Nice homes. Finlandia University. Woo. Says for me to reduce speed. Holy Christ, I'm doing 10. No, I'm doing 20. I was really jamming. Okay probably going to stop get something to eat pretty soon and then I'll get back with you. Coming in to Calumet, I think that's how you pronounce it. I just wonder if they got a laundromat here. I might want to wash a few things. I don't know. Most of the buildings look closed. Look at this one. My goodness. These buildings have been here over a hundred years. Easy. Look at these guys coming to town with their side-by-sides. <laughs> wow. Michigan House Cafe. Wow. I guess what I have to do is uh, stop and look to see if they have a laundromat. See you later. Hi again. Well, I just left Calumet and I did some laundry. Uh, just because I felt that I should. And it was funny because when I pulled in, there was uh, a state police giving someone a ticket. And I said, well, I got to find myself a little laundromat or something like that. I had a week's worth of clothes. 
So I just look past the cop and boom, there's a place that says wash and laundry. So went in there, did my wash, uh, you know, met a couple people. Uh, one lady says, no, don't go buy soap. Use a little bit of mine, you know, that makes you think about humans. You know, most people are really, really good. Uh, not like a lot of people make them out to be that most people are bad. But anyway, then uh, she left and uh, a gal was there uh, with her boyfriend and uh, just the two of them lived together and we talked about everything, grandkids and all this stuff, you know. She was a yacker, of course I'm a yacker too a lot of times. So. It was kind of funny. It was enjoyable. It was a little bit of entertainment for me in between because I just, like I said, left Calumet and I'm on my way to Copper Harbor right now. So, uh, catch you on down the road. Well, this is the town of Ameek. A-M-E-E-K. Not much of a town, but it was kind of interesting enough for me to just want to go in here and go by these buildings. I mean, there's only like about a half dozen buildings, and that's the whole town. But, you know, you run out of land pretty soon up here. Uh, maybe I might even go down a side street for you to take a peek at. But I thought it was kind of kind of unique to see some of these things. Let's see. Let me go down the side street. Take a look at a few of the homes and church. So that's about it. I just did the whole town in probably about 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, back to the road. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I stopped over here to take a few photos of this building and uh, just thought I'd do a real quick clip so you could take a look at it and see what I'm uh, videoing, I mean, photographing here. Uh, kind of a neat old building, a couple of them here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, there I go again. I'm trying not to do that. So now I'm going around the other side. This is what's amazing with the other side. There's no front to the building. Look at that. Kind of amazing. It's an older type building. It really did catch my eye, so... Sorry for the bumping, but... Uh, it is neat. There's a lot of different things in here, so I had fun photographing this. Be back in a minute. Well, the whole road is like this. It's just so pretty. This is something you want to take on a motorcycle. It's just so gorgeous. Just like everything is a canopy through the whole thing. It's like you're traveling through a tunnel. It's very similar to Highway 122 around Cross Village in the Lower Peninsula, except it's a little wider and easier to maneuver. I definitely like to take the bike up here, but see you on down the road. Well, here we are. We're at uh, Land's End or Last Chance or something like that campground. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Yep, this is where we're at. I got a fire going. There's my hard shell tent. My turtle camper. Got my cot set up in the back. With my sleeping bag. Two pillows. I'm fine. Got my pee bottle and my crap bucket. But they got bathrooms here, so... No big deal on that. But, like I was saying before, uh, I'm all set up. Here's my table. Some things there, goodies. <laughs> and me. 
This is a pretty good sized campground. They're expanding. They're not done with it yet. I mean, it's huge. And they've got a lot of room for tenters. And I says, all I need is a space to put my car. I'll be inside it. So I got this spot for two nights. I'll leave in the morning uh, after I have some coffee and go get some breakfast and uh, maybe go out to the lighthouse. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of different things. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Can I only bed that far? I think I heard something. <laughs> See? Did I go around too fast? There's my fire again. Beautiful fire. Except I think it's reversed too. Oh no, I gotta change at this time. Anyway, being up here in Copper Harbor, they have no service right here. You can get Wi-Fi if you go to a restaurant, which I kind of blew my wad on a walleye dinner this evening. There was nobody here to tell me I shouldn't. Hmm, how about that? So I enjoyed that and two beers, and I came to the campsite. Uh, it's on the honor system, honor system, and it's 15 bucks a night, no hookups. Of course, it looks like I got my own garden here. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it, it's there. Wish they were all in already. I'd pick them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say good night. And if I get somewhere where I have some type of Wi-Fi or a phone signal, if I have a phone signal, I got a hotspot on my phone and I can download everything. So whatever happened today, I think I'll be able to, get it to you tomorrow. So, good night. Pleasant dreams. I'll be the Zane. Holy shit, Batman. Good night. This is so damn relaxing. Everybody should do this once in a while. Sit around the campfire. Oh well. Did I say I'm having a good time? Bye bye.